Pistons fans, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Saban Lee. And I came across this article and they were discussing the future role for Saban Lee and just in general, they were talking about the development of Saban Lee. So I wanted to talk about it because I feel like I haven't talked about Saban Lee in a while and there hasn't been um, much discussion about him, especially with the draft talk coming around and free agency talk. We don't really talk about Saban Lee much. So so I wanted to take a look at him and give you guys my thoughts on the dude. So basically, I'm going to give you a rough synopsis of the article. They basically talked about him as an inconsistent scorer. They said that he showed flashes during his rookie year. And then basically the main point that they wanted to end on is that next season, he's probably going to end up coming off the bench and they hope that he can get his consistency and scoring up. So my opinion on Saban Lee, I was very, very high on Saban Lee coming out of the draft. You guys can go back seven, eight months ago when the, when the Pistons drafted him. I made multiple videos on him. I fell in love with Saban Lee instantly out of Vanderbilt. Because when you look at someone like him, he has he has that athleticism, that explosion to him. Some some he just gives you you know that fight, that punch coming off the bench. You know when your starters are coming out of the game, you want some energy in the arena, you want some fire. And when you throw in someone like Saban Lee, he gives you that. He just gives you he just gives you that explosion, that athleticism. I just fell in love watching the tape that I seen at Vanderbilt, and then. Once he came to the Pistons, I was really high on him. And during his rookie year, I would say I agree with what they said in the article. He did show some flashes. He did have his moments here and there in the playing time that he did get. Because it's not like he got, you know, crazy amounts of playing time and crazy amounts of minutes. He didn't really get that. But in the time that he did play in, I did like the things that I seen out of Saban Lee in terms of aggression, attacking to the hole, inside scoring. I really did like um, some of the things that I seen out of Saban Lee. But I do agree that there are some things that he needs to work on and that he will work on. You know, because Saban is a young dude, and he's going to get better as his career progresses. But um, in terms of his shooting, I feel like his shooting, um, needs he needs to improve that. His form is okay, but overall, um, he needs to get the confidence up, hopefully this offseason training. In terms of his defense, I also do feel like sometimes on defense, he can get a little bit lost here and there on some plays. And then overall, he made a lot of rookie mistakes his first year. You know, he's a rookie, second round guy, not much expectations on him. He was bound to make rookie mistakes and he did make many rookie mistakes. So as far as next season for Saban Lee, um, I'm, I'm hoping for him to take a little bit of a jump than what he did in this first season. I want him to be more consistently in the rotation because there were some times in the season where he didn't get any playing time at all. So I want him to get a more consistent, more dominant, solidified role in the rotation next season. In terms of coming off the bench, not starter, obviously, but in terms of coming off the bench, I would love for, you know, him to have a solidified role, solidified, you know, let's say he's the eighth man coming off the bench. Let's say he gets 15 minutes. I want him to have a bona fide, solidified role for him next season. And Dwayne Casey, our coach, he's a developmental coach. He did great things in Toronto. So I fully believe that with Saban Lee, he's going to do him right. He's going to get him the playing time and that he'll get Saban going to the place that he wants to be. So all in all, man, really, really big fan of Saban Lee. Can't wait to see what he does this next season for the Detroit Pistons. You know, I know we got K. No, I know we got Killian. We have Frank Jackson. You know, we got a lot of guards on this squad. We have DSJ as well. Corey Joseph, there are so many guards on the squad, but I haven't forgotten about Saban. I haven't given up on Saban. I can't wait to see what Saban Lee does next season. I hope he improves a lot this offseason. I hope, actually, we get to see some training footage soon because I just seen some training footage from Diallo. I saw Killian and Isaiah Stewart and Sadiq Bey. Apparently, they're still training in Michigan right now. Just all in all, man, I want to see some improvement out of our young guys, and more specifically, Saban Lee. I want to see some footage out of him, hopefully. And yeah, man, I said all the things I needed to say. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K, and I'm out.